We are live. Welcome back. I'm going to take you on a tour of my huge empire building today. Now, this is something that I've been working on for, I don't know, four months? Three, four months? And I've done a lot of other stuff, these little buildings here. And there's a whole skyway system that runs all the way through the clouds. In fact, I'll just run you over there quick. So I built this system. And it's fully functional. You can go inside of it. And you can walk right through. But basically, it's kind of a skyway through my entire land. And I have other houses like some of these here. He's got a house right there. And there's another one that I did here. But I'll take you quickly just through my quick little, little deal here. So this skyway system basically runs through the entire world. So, working on... I was playing State of Decay 2 last year. We played... I was doing a lot of Red Dead Redemption when that first came out, last end of last year. And when online came out, I started doing some stuff, dabbling around on there. We had a posse, and every once in a while I get back on and play, but I kind of got burnt out on that. So I, I discovered the world of Minecraft, the interior decorating that I can do here, that I've done in these houses. makes it look pretty uh, realistic with the kitchen. And this is the pack that we have on, is the city pack. So it gives it... Uh, a real urban feel, I guess you could say. But this is my pretty giant living room here in this house. This little house here is probably one of my proudest ones because I spent a lot of time on it. You know, putting in the bathrooms and different things. You know, you have a see-through shower. You have a really nice little hot tub type thing here. Jacuzzi, I guess you'd say. And this would be like a girl's bedroom. And this would be like a boy's bedroom. Lots of fun stuff. But anywho, on with the building. Now, the biggest structure, so these are all the little houses that I kind of built over the last so many months. Just kind of dabbling around pretty much almost every night. You know, spend like a couple hours before I go to bed. Because we're going to take a look at the Mammoth building. This is a building that I started, but I never finished anything inside of it because it was, I don't know, I just got... It wasn't the right time, I guess, when I was trying to do anything with it, so I just left it. But, now, I've kind of got the, I guess, the skill sets down. How to build. You know, you kind of, it takes an art, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it takes you time to kind of learn how you're doing things, how you're building stuff, and once you kind of get the hang of it, you get a little better and a little more creative and... You just get better with, you know, how to design and decorate and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, as time went on, it, 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 this is kind of like a timeline. This whole Skyway system goes through the entire part of the world that I would just... I built this whole Skyway thing and would start building houses around it. And it came to this part, which I almost kind of looks like Mars. It kind of looks like Mars in a way, you know, we always know it as the Red Planet. So I thought, well, wouldn't that be kind of cool if it's kind of like a space station on Mars? You know, these are kind of like how we would live if we lived on Mars, you know. Everything would look kind of, you know, to me, in my vision, this is what it would look like. You know, with skyway systems so you could breathe and it would all be filled with oxygen. And this would be like some conglomerate building, you know, some massive place where people can go and shop and eat and all that. But anyways, this is my baby. This building here took me a lot of time. Uh, as you can see, it was built brick by brick, literally. There was no mods, there was nothing. So I'm just going to take you on a little tour. You just kind of come in through the skyway this way, and boom, you're right inside the building. As you can see, there's like a little, almost like an airport where it probably has some, you know, a little teleprompter with some info on it. This indicates stairwell. There's a bathroom over here. This is uh, an elevator system, but I haven't finished it. I don't know, I actually know how to build the elevator yet. I haven't figured it out. Once I do, I will do that. But right now, you got like kind of like a public restroom, you know? This would be like I'd consider the girls. It's funny, there's no urinals for it to be a guy. So, yeah, it's got to be the girls' bathroom. Duh. 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 This is a guy's bathroom. 
pissers with walls separating with one shitter. That's pretty much it too, man. <laughs> so anyways, this is kind of the main part of the building and I designed it so there's walls all around it, but inside it's kind of like an open atrium. I guess here in Minneapolis, there's a building downtown called the Government Center and it looks all, it kind of reminds me of this. It's kind of what I designed it off of, except that I didn't copy them exactly. Although, it kind of looks like an H, that building. So I kind of, I guess as a montage to where I work, is an H up there on the uh, on the screen. As you can see, that H at the very top skylight up there. It's kind of the way the actual building that I designed this from looks. But I kind of made my own design. Just an indoor atrium. And this is, I kind of made it like a mall. You know, you got like a security desk, kind of like an info place or whatever. And you can get in through, you know, here and whatnot. But I kind of made it like a mall area in the bottom here. So you got like escalators. You can go up and it's like a food court. And there's different little vendors. Now, I there's no way to do lettering and stuff besides these big bricks and signs. So I decided to just have fun with it and just made some different colors like purple and pink. You know, you think of ice cream. So there you go, some ice cream treats. You know, nothing to name there, but like, you know, pizza, pasta, and wings, and I have some stuff that kind of looks like a cash register, a little area to get in, and, you know, like some stoves and a grill top. This one here, burritos, tacos, and fries. <laughs> Who eats fries with tacos and burritos? I don't know. I don't. But whatever. Look at rice and noodles. Ooh, Yummy. I don't know who'd be grilling up and, you know, probably chicken and stuff, I suppose. I'm retarded. And I'm stuck. And that's wonderful. So anyways, little food court area. Kind of thought that was kind of neat. We'll go back down the escalator. And I didn't know how to make escalators. To me, it was just kind of like, okay, well, these track things look right, which I also use these as keyboards, too, for the computer, but don't tell nobody. Actually, you'll find out. Just kind of a fun little escalator looking thing and I got some plants and shit around here and some lighting and you gotta kinda make it look a little fancy. This thing I kinda thought, oh well what do they have in malls? Well they have like arcades. Well in this day and age arcades aren't kinda popular anymore. Which when I was a kid ar arcades are awesome man. I used to go up to the arcade up the street from my house all the time at the mall called Piccadilly Circus. Back on the tour we have like a restaurant type thing. I, I guess I was, this is like an office building and I kind of made this first whole, I guess, first two levels, like, more like a mall feel, you know. But I suppose it could be, it, pretend like this was Mars, like I was saying before. So this was like another planet, and there's like these skyway systems, and you had to stay within those systems, and you had to stay within the buildings and all that. This would be kind of a place where people would go and be able to eat and swim and have some fun and actually have some entertainment. And at the same time, you got the people running everything. Yeah. So the first floor, I guess third floor, but the first of the offices kind of created like a bunch of weird like merchandise control with like a badging area. It's like this little area you go in and there's like a whole back spot of the office. This would be like, I guess your shipping and receiving area. Just had some fun with it. Control room 34. Got some cubicles, got some desks in there. Look, it's the escalator tracks. <laughs> and I got another office here and another office here this is the building management but anyway it's just fun and I don't remember what was back th there this is another floor I guess and I also got a stairway system that's back here too so instead of taking the elevator shaft that doesn't really work anyway <laughs> you could just take the staircase. And there's so much lovely... Oh, and I put bathrooms on each floor, too. You got, like, a... I guess a girl's bathroom, because it's got pink. With a very ugly 70s-esque carpet. But you know what? Some of these office buildings, that's just kind of the way they are. You know? <coughs> Weird. And... I put like a supply closet, blah, blah, blah. There's like a bunch of offices. I put a bunch of random names. Paul Thorot. 
I still keep looking at this. There's like a part on my phone right here that's got like a yellow, a uh, red button for stop and record, obviously. And I keep focusing on this white button that's on there, and it really frustrates me because I know the camera's not there. I know it's over here, and this is where I gotta be looking. Stop moving. All right. <laughs> okay. I got like a shipping dock area. Anyways, I don't want to bore you with all this crap. We're going to go right to the top. Oh, and this is... My, oh, i got to show you one more. So this is my 70s office floor with orange walls. I had fun with this one. Oh, yeah. I built, like... So, like, where I work downtown, there's... um We have kind of something similar to this where it's, like, a little kitchenette, you know, on an office floor. and But this one has, like, a little seating, kind of like, you know, a break room, I guess you could say. Like a kitchenette break room kind of like an area for employees to eat lunches but yeah i had a lot of fun building on this game man and like you know another weird couple bathrooms this is an I don't know, girl's bathroom i liked that i did the lighting in this one this way i just kind of covered the ceiling with it but anyways the fun floor of course is up here and where does this go oh it's another floor Oh, of course, now I'm an IT geek by day, so my favorite room, the IT data center. <laughs> this is the best part, because it's a data center. Who in the f hell doesn't like a data center? Huh? Huh? You tell me. You tell me. Let's go up to the top floor. So this floor is, of course, the executive floor, as you can see. I got my sons up there, got random people, and you can see out the windows, lake view, oh, it's beautiful, or I guess that'd be an ocean, wouldn't it? Another room, just a blue office, pimp-tastical, pimp-terrifical, and then the ultimate, best of all, the office area. Ha oh, ha! With beautiful views, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely changing up the camera on this. I don't like the. I don't like that my side face, dude. It's like I'm all beard and like. Hi, my name is Cheeks. Ha 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 ha! And of course, that whole time I was doing that, I was looking this way, this way, at that stupid white button right there that you guys can't even see because. You can't see it because it's on my phone. Anyway, that was it. Just kind of a building tour I wanted to give you on one of my favorite little things that took me a while to build. And, you know, like I said, I'm later later in life here. I'm discovering Minecraft for the first time and finding that I actually really enjoy it. And everybody else started playing it 10 years ago. Here I'm playing it now. I just discovered it.